let r of t be the vector equation of the motion of a particle where t represents time in seconds and distances measured in meters. We are asked to find the particle's initial position, the velocity vector, as well as the speed of the particle. When a vector equation is given in this form and it represents the position of a particle at time t, then the vector r sub zero is the initial position, which is also a position vector, and the vector v is the velocity vector, which is also a direction vector. And the magnitude of vector v is the speed. Before we answer these three questions though, let's look at this graphically. The vector equation gives us this blue line. We'll notice how this black vector with components two comma five has its terminal point on the line, which means it is a position vector, or in this case, the initial position. And notice how the purple vector with components three comma one is parallel to the blue line, which means it is a direction vector, and in this case, the velocity vector. So going back to our work, let's first find the particle's initial position, which is going to be the vector r sub zero, which can also be found by determining r of zero, which is equal to the vector with components two comma five plus zero times the vector with components three comma one, which is the velocity vector, which does give us the vector r sub zero that has components two comma five. Again, this is the black vector that we saw that had a terminal point on the line. For part b, we're asked to find the velocity vector, and the velocity vector is the vector with components three comma one, and then finally part c, the speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity vector, which is equal to the square root of three squared plus one squared, which is equal to the square root of 10, and the units for the speed will be meters per second. I hope you found this helpful.